three. He said oh. Ernest was a big joke. I wonder if Copperfield still taking this match <laughs> seriously. A spine buster! Nailed it. Oh no! What is th Is he? Yes, he is! A slap in the face to Ernest as we bought the 360 of Copperfield doing the Ernest elbow! That's just wrong! One, two, but Ernest kicks out! Copperfield used that same tactic to get the Intercontinental title. As Ernest, once again, he's fighting back. Give him credit. He may be a good backslide. One, One two, two, and two. no. <coughs> About two and three quarters there. Irish whip right to a drop toe hole. Now working on the leg, working on the knee joint. Ernest is doing all he can, and there's a reverse atomic drop of his own. <coughs> He's doing all he can to make sure he wins this match, or at least get some offense. <coughs> Rolls out of the way. Copperfield has him in a. Has him tied up. Gut buster! Knees in the uh. abdomen equals ouch. Now, oh, oh, he wanted to go for a headbutt instead. Ernest gives him a headbutt. Oh, uh, now he does the Ernest roll right here. That's what he calls it, folks. The Ernest roll. And he almost had the win! He almost picked up the win! Ernest is somehow gaining confidence! Elbow drop from the top row! Look at Ernest go! And he drops him! Right on his back! Ernest is showing character! He's showing fight! And okay, he just fell out. He fell out and now he's celebrating. But Ernest, if I was you, I'd go after Copperfield. Three. Follow up. Don't waste time cheering to the fans. Or Copperfield will make you pay just like he just did with that. That arm drag, but Ernest fighting back. Headlock takeover. And once he got set up, oh boy. Here's the real deal. The most delighted yet dimwitted move in Oakland SCH. SCHW, the Ernest Silva. Could that be enough for Copperfield? One, two. No, only a two count. Ernest thought he had it there with Ernest's elbow. And a forearm right to the face. Now Ernest back up to the top. Try that elbow again, but this time Copperfield got the knees up. I think Copperfield has just figured out this joke is now over. Ernest is for real. Setting him up here. Looks like a vertical suplex coming. But it's been countered. Ernest might do it. Yeah. Ernest might have enough heart to take the title away. Drop to him. If Ernest gets straight up a few moves he might be on his way to becoming champion what a shoulder tackle what's he wait a minute is this yes it is
it is! It's the world winner! He's got it! Ernest hit the... Celebration! What? I'd like to thank you each and every one for this beautiful bowling trophy. Thank you, 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 thank you. He never knew when to quit. A little premature there, Ernest. Drop of meals back up to a knee. Oh, he just figured it out. He just probably wasted a golden opportunity. He cued that celebration take a little bit too far, and who is the jackass that went back there and actually followed it? Who actually followed through on that? But now Copperfield has regained the advantage. Stomped it right on the ankle. Again, Ernest most likely wasted a golden opportunity. Copperfield counters that. Oh, no. What is he setting up for? Wait a minute. Not again. World winner. They just picked him right back up. I thought he was going to go for the cover. And then he goes for the cover. Grand illusion! I think you can put a nail in the coffin on this one. One, one two, two, and three. three. Copperfield makes the champions three for three. But it's all falls on Ernest. He had a golden opportunity to print the bell. And he celebrated too early, and in the end, it cost him. He gets done in not only his own, but gets done in by the Grand Illusion as well. David Copperfield, still the World Continental Champion. a match that I can't wait I couldn't wait for all night this one is in my opinion could be the sleeper match of the night me and working taking on Mystique and you know the history between these two it basically started with a theft Orchid end up beating Mystique with her own finishing maneuver. And that guy, Mystique, riled up to the point where she not only attacked Orchid in the back, but then posed as Orchid to basically throw the match against Emma Frost. And then when the real Orchid came out, obviously beat up. She delivered what she now calls the Mist of Fire on Orchid and then just revealed herself to be obviously Mystique. What's a 
Ducks do through some shape shift and she comes down to the ring. I thought this match wasn't even gonna happen until King seen the tag match and decided to put it on. These two have a score to settle. And we are about to witness it. Like I said, Orton won the match. 